Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we knew that uh, this was coming uh, sometime and probably in 23H2 in Windows 11. So the um, beta version, because that's where we refer to. Beta is where usually when they're testing features there, it will be in the next version of Windows probably. So 23H2 coming in October, the beta version we have right now does have provision to actually extract files from archives and this is the list of archives that it can actually extract from right now that so you see that dot tar tr tar dot gz uh dot bz2 zst xz tgz tbz2 tzst txz these are a lot of them that I don't know what they are. Like the tar.gz, I know that this often is used in Linux distros. Uh, .rar, that will be an interesting one. 7-zip or .7z. And they say and more. So this is going to be interesting to see where they add and how they add all of it. Of course, all of the archives that you can open that they have added and are adding are archives that are uh, open source. So they are using open source. Of course, you cannot create archives. This has always been the case in, in Windows. For example, you can open a zip file in Windows. That's been the case for a long time. You can't create them. So that's why they're not necessarily, you know, um, going over competition because yeah, you can open them, but you can't create them, and that's where the competition is good. The software can create it also. So that's, you know, fine. And I, I think that's nice that Windows has archive capability because um, I see that all the time. You know, I, it's, I, I got a few comments, people saying, well, does not matter if you have to download software? Yes, it does. And for most people, they don't even know what to do. So that Windows does it naturally is extremely nice and, and important because the majority of people um, don't know what to do. And if you're like me, I don't want to have useless software that I'll use two times or one time or one time per year. Uh, you know, I have .rar and .7zip files because of some of the old archives that I have things from, like the Amiga and the Commodore. I do that, you know, three times a year. I don't want to have a full-time piece of software installed just for three times a year. So this is cool. And I think this is a nice opportunity for expanding the capabilities of Windows, opening different archives. So this is neat. And I think it's going to be really nice to have that. Uh, and it's probably going to roll out coming this fall uh, with 23H2 as it's already being tested and the beta versions. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.